details why that charge is not uniformly distributed. It would be uniformly distributed at the surface if this were a sphere, but not if it has this funny shape. But it will be at the surface. Now, I'm going to make this heart a very special heart, more like a real heart. It's open here, but it is solid here. So this is a conducting, the heart muscle, and here it's open. There's nothing here. And again, I'm going to charge it, bring charge on the outside. So now, it's obvious that we don't expect that there is any charge that will be inside the conductor. That's clear. The same argument holds with the Gauss law argument. But now, is it perhaps possible that some of the positive charge will go on the inside of this surface and some on the outside? Who thinks that maybe some will now go on the inside because now the situation is different, right? There's now, it's now a hollow conductor. Anyone in favor of some of that charge maybe going on the inside? I see one hand, two hands. Who says, no, it's not possible. It will not go to the inside. It will still go to the outside. Well, most of you are very careful now. You don't want to vote anymore. It cannot go to the inside. Why can it not go to the inside? Let this be my Gauss surface. Closed surface. Think of this as three-dimensional. Everywhere on that line, the electric field is zero because you're inside the conductor. So the surface integral is also zero. So Gauss law says there cannot be any charge inside that box. And so, again, the charge has to go to the outer surface, and nothing will go to the inner surface. And so the conclusion then is that the electric field is zero in the conductor, but the electric field is also zero in this opening. There's never any charge there. And so the whole heart, including the cavity, is an equipotential. There's never any electric field anywhere. There are only electric fields outside the heart. And there are field lines. And these field lines everywhere are perpendicular to the surface of the heart because the heart is an equipotential. So here, you get very funny field lines which go like this. They have to be perpendicular locally where they reach the heart wall. Earlier in my lectures, I showed that a uniformly solid sphere has electric field zero inside. And I even showed to you that a hollow conducting sphere also has zero electric field inside. Today, I have demonstrated that it doesn't have to be a sphere. You don't need spherical symmetry. That any shape, provided that it's a hollow conductor, it has to be a conductor, any shape will give you an electric field of zero inside. And I first want to demonstrate that. I have here something that is not a sphere. It's a paint can. It has some aluminum on top. There's an opening there. It's not perfect. It's not really closed like this is. So the electric field inside will not be exactly zero. But it will be very close. I must have an opening because I want to get in. I want to get charge see whether there's any charge on the inside. So I must be able to get through. So I'm going to charge this one. And then I will take some charge of the outside and take some charge of the inside and use the electroscope and see whether we can demonstrate that indeed there is charge on the outside, but there is nothing on the inside. I will use the same method that I used last time when I challenge you to figure out how this works, this is this crazy message which we call electrophorus. Elect electrophorus, it's difficult to pronounce, electrophorus. We have here a glass plate. I rub it with cat fur. Think about it again. It's a little problem inside the problem. Metal plates. I put it on top. I touch it. I get a shock. I touch it here. I touch it again, I get again a shock. And I charge this up. I touch it again, I get another shock. And I touch it again. Let's get a little bit more on it. The charge on this plate is positive, by the way, that I 
create on the glass. I touch it. The charge on here is negative, not positive. Put it on again. Touch it. Okay. So I should have negative charge on there now. Here is a little test sphere. It's a conductor. I'll take some charge off from this side. Touch it. Boy, there's charge. No question. We agree, right? There's charge. Okay. Now I touch the inside. Let's hope that no sparks fly over. I touch it. Nothing. Seen it? Absolutely nothing. So there's no charge inside, the charge is on the outside, which is what I just demonstrated. So you see it in front of your own eyes. All the charge goes to the outside. Not so intuitive, but an immediate consequence of the fact that it's a conductor, that the electrons will move freely, so that the electric field in the conductor itself is zero. And we have argued that no charge can ever go on the inside of the surface. It all stays on the outside. So when I touch the inside, there was no charge. So if you are inside that conductor, if your house is a conducting house, and someone in the outside world charges your house up, when you're inside, you have no knowledge of that. That's quite amazing, isn't it? You are electrically shielded from the outside world. Now I'm going to make the situation even more complicated. I now take a conducting object, doesn't have to be a sphere, and I bring that conducting object, hollow, in an external electric field. So someone outside your house is turning on a Van de Graaff, creating an electric field. What now is going to happen? Well, due to induction, you're going to get some charge polarization in the conductor. One side may end up negative, and the other side may end up positive. But what happens on the inside? Nothing. The electric field in the conductor must stay everywhere zero if it is a static electric field. And so no charge will, can accumulate here, and no charge can accumulate on the inside. And so as you bring this electric field on the outside, you may get negative and positive charge on the outside, maybe negative here and positive there, but inside, nothing. You are inside electrically shielded from the outside world in the same way that you were when someone was trying to put charge on your house. Now someone is trying to zap you with electric fields. Nothing will happen inside. You will never see an electric field inside. I will show you 